Fuckies. Who's a good boy? Come on, Lucas. He got a stick instead That's of the ball. In Come on, Lucas. Lucas. Want me to have it? Come on. Come on. Give me that. So we got all the stuff we have left, finally has made it to Cuenca, so it feels different now. It feels like we've actually really settled in Cuenca now. And it was pretty cool because everything that kind of had to happen from our time in the States to getting our stuff off the container here just kind of fell into place. You know, there were a few delays here and there or some, or some hiccups, but for the most part it was pretty easy. Like. Everything it's a big made sign it. that says it's meant to be. <laughs> if you want it to be, it's meant to be. There you go. And if you go through all the Sometimes steps those to make it can happen, lead us astray. Yep. We don't think that's the case here, though. No. I mean, look at this place. It's just stunningly beautiful. This is where we get to come walk Lucas every day, twice a day. <laughs> He's already been run out a little bit. So it definitely feels like a, the chapter of our life in Ecuador is is actually a reality and not just like a maybe. Pretend experiment or something. Yeah. Yeah. Everything we have is here, so. Yep. And we should actually get our sedulas next week, Monday. That'd be exciting. Theoretically. Theoretically. <laughs> Heard it can take anywhere from three hours to all day. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. We'll bring snacks. We're going to bring snacks. And so somebody doesn't get angry. <laughs> Weather's been really good here lately, too. It's supposed to be the winter time, theoretically, but... Uh, it's definitely been warm. I feel like it's been warmer than it was this last year, year than it was last year when we got here. But yeah. August is just starting, so there's still time for it to get cold. We're still having a lot of clear, there's blue sky now. It was yeah. rainy this morning, but it seems like it was a lot more overcast last year, but memories are always jaded. True. I just know in the pictures, I always have my puffy coat on. We are going to be hosting a um, yoga and meditation movement retreat in Inti Kamari. We have a video from there from a yoga retreat we went to last year. So if you're going to be in here September, look us up. It's gonna be fun. It's warm there for sure. There's a pool. Yeah, it's in really Yungia cool Valley. people. How do you feel about life here now? I'm pretty happy. I mean, sometimes I have um, some physical pain issues, and that gets me a little sad. But for the most part, I'm in a good mood almost all the time. 
Because here. of me. She gets to see me. See, si, claro. <laughs> and Lucas. Lucas makes a good Lucas move. Lucas is a bit, yeah. I mean. Except when he's tearing stuff up. He's a little up. punk, but that's our fault. We left him out while we were away today. And he chewed up a bunch of paper and peed. He's a puppy. But, but we still love him. He's got a cone head. <laughs> Yeah, we can't be too mad at a dog that has a cone head. Rio Tomibamba. Tomibamba. Shh. <laughs> Shh. I mean, yes. Rio Tomibamba.